Hey everyone, today we are at the Vintage Vault of Upland and we're going to the Spook Show, which at is all the way over there. At the and Vintage Vault. It's like a little horror farmer's market. Night market. Night market, farmer's so market. What are you most excited to see today? Um, I'm excited to see all the spooky vendors because on the Instagram post it has a whole list of them and there's a lot of cosplayers here too and a lot of, I saw actors are coming. Okay. So I'm excited. Here we are in the vintage vault of Upland at the spook show. Wow. There's some t-shirts right there, some cool horror shirts, horror posters. Today we've just bought from this cool flower shop. Is it alright if I take a video? Oh yeah, absolutely. Let me get out of the way. That way you can Oh no, you're good. <laughs> can I watch Killer Clowns from out of space? <laughs> that one's alright. Oh, you guys are going to go. Thank you. I got four when I so if you do want to get these flowers, you can follow right here, or the contact information is right here as well. They're so pretty. Here's the one she bought today. Yay. It's cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, those are a purse. You can open them oh. and put money in them. Check here. A purse? Uh, yeah, it's like a, it's, you hold it on your wrist. Thank you. Open up. You can put your money and stuff in. And then you Wear hold it. it. Yeah. And then it'll still hold your hair up. Oh, it's more convenient. So it look at all these cool little custom. Very cool. Yeah, and um, you can also request specific fabrics. Sounds it's good. delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Good and how long have you been doing this for? Um, about almost like a year and a half. A year and a half? Yeah. And they can all be custom made? Yes. Very nice. Thank you. We are here trying Rachel's street snacks now. Lauren already taste tested some of these. They were so good. Very cool. If I may ask, how long have you been doing this for? How long? Actually, I've been. It's been in work for two years. But two years. This is my fourth event. Got Only you. two weeks. Very. Yeah. So. And what's your favorite <laughs> item? Kids, that anything's possible. <laughs> right. And I have a full time job. Oh, wow. so this is all the side. And do you have a favorite item from your menu? Yes, street corn nachos. Street corn nachos. Got you. Got you. you get the street corn, you get the corn, you get the, um, the mayonnaise, you get the cotija, you get the lime, you get the everything. We are in the booth, Evil Queen Boutique. You can follow her there. I bought these for my cousin last year as a Christmas present. And he absolutely loves it. He has it in his plant room now, so it catches everyone off guard. Here's a bunch of other cool things you can buy from her. Oh, come back. Come here, come here, come here. Who is this? This is Mama Bear. She's the manager. Very nice. There she is. <laughs> Give me one. Oh, we almost got it. Give me one more. Come on. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a watch. Come on. There we go. We got it. Good job. A favorite of mine every time I come to a horror event are these dolls. Really cool dolls. Got a vintage Halloween stand here. Everything's Halloween themed in there. Pumpkins and whatnot. We bought from them at Midsummer Scream. These are dope. Cool clothing. crochets. Hey everyone, so I'm going to cut it short there, but the Vault of Upland Spook Show 2 is a really fun event. Um, it's more on the smaller side, but it definitely should be supported. There's a lot of great vendors, lots of cosplayers running around, and they actually even brought in some actors and people from the film industry. Uh, Carlos was hosting this. He's the owner of the Vintage Vault. Hopefully there will be a Spook Show 3, and if there is, I will be there to definitely support it. And I think a lot more people in the horror community should definitely check this one out too. Anyways, thank you for watching my video, and as always, stay spooky. I'll see you next time.